a brief of the Ten Commandments. Have thou no other gods but me, unto no image bow thy knee. Take not the name of God in vain, nor Sabbath day do thou profane. Honor thy father and mother too, and see that thou no murder do. From whoredom keep thee pure and clean, and steal not though thy state be mean. See that thou no false witness bear, and covet not thy neighbor's gear. O Lord, our souls to thee convert, and write thy laws into our heart. Hello and welcome everybody to a new video from Jörg Juggler 66 Hour of the Truth. And this is actually a very small one and actually also a video I would have hoped that it would be superfluous, meaning unnecessary to even produce. The last few weeks I have gone through the wonderful book from U.H. Stennis uh, on the history of the doctrine of the Trinity and the quote-unquote Christian Church. I've done 36 readings with the complete book. That is all. The, those are all the videos that are in the playlist. And there will be now um, more or less two per week being published uh, until I think even somewhere in uh, the month of July. I just... Have a little look here at my videos. Yeah, the last one is uh, uh, being uploaded on the 5th of June. So not July, but June, the 5th of June. That is the very first one. Uh, the very last one, that is also uh, as a premiere set, uh, Yayath God said, the essence of religion, plain and simple. Now, you know that in the beginning of the series, I was very disappointed about how people were behaving in the comment section. And then I just deleted the possibility. I just scrapped the possibility to give comments. I just said, no, nobody is able to make comments here. I made a post in the community section of my video, uh, put a tab in there. Yay, as God said, please leave your comments here. And almost nobody ever did the effort to comment there. Then after a few weeks of pausing reading the book, I came back to the microphone and uh, I, I read these videos uh, or I read the I, I read the book further and um, the last the next one that started then was published on the 10th of um, uh, of February. Today by the way we have the 28th of February. So um, you know when this is recorded after the recording of all the book reading, but before most of them will be published. So that one from the 10th of, Ju uh, 10th of uh, February has uh, the title uh, Bible Testimony to the Unity of God. We then have um, the one published on the 17th of February, that is the testimony of history and the Platonic philosophy introduced. And then we have the next one still that was now published uh, a few days ago on the 24th of February. The state upholding the doctrine of the Trinity and popular protests against it. And the next video that will be published is the one that will be published on uh, March 2nd. So that is now coming uh, Saturday. Yeah, we have today. Wednesday, the 28th of February, and it's coming Saturday. And then the one that's published is called Polycarp, the Testimony of Eminent Men. Now, before that one is published, I will publish this video. And why am I doing this? Because I will refer to this video and all the other coming videos. The link will be put in every one, even the ones that have been published yet. The link of this video will be published everywhere. Because I want to make sure that everybody understands the rules of engagement when you are commenting on these videos. There are, of course, a few comments that I made during the reading, even though I didn't know what comments were coming, but I had the suspicion that people just don't care about the subject of the video and just spewing, spew, spewing their uh, understanding, their eisegesis and their understanding of the Trinity, never caring what I read anyway. So that's why I want to state very clear the rules of engagement in this series, Yea, hath God said. I want to ask you the following. 
First and for all, if you want to make a comment on one of these videos, make sure that you watched the videos preceding the one you're watching also, because many things that you may be th that you're thinking, putting in your comment have maybe been already talked about in the videos preceding the one you're watching now. Second of all, if you want to make a comment concerning the video you're watching, then I want to ask you to also keep your comment in line with the subject talked about. I give you an example. When I say at 25 minutes 30 seconds something that you want to comment on, then while you're watching the video, take a little note. And when you're done with the video, you can make a comment, you can write the comment, and then you say, look, Jörg, at 25 minutes, 30 seconds, you said this and this, you quote me, and then you put your comment in there, refuting what I say. Because that's what it's all about, right? Everybody watching these videos is just refuting what I say because they are not in agreement with it. And I have no problem if people are not in agreement with it. But what I do I have a problem with is that I speak about the heritage, the true history, where the whole doctrine of Trinity came from, out from paganism, out from uh, Medo-Persia, most of all Greece, into pagan Rome, and from pagan Rome into papal Rome. Nobody ever denies that. I have not up to now, I, I have also spoken about this, but not in the detail that I will speak about it when I read the books, when I, when I read the book, and nobody ever attacked me on those points. Well, if you want to attack me on those points, then in the future, these are the rules of engagement. Now, if you want to comment on one of these videos in the series, Yea, hath God said, and please understand that I make so many videos, I do so many readings in three different languages, for the moment just two, just German and English, but so many different subjects and readings. For the love of God, if I read a video in the beginning of February that will be published the end of May, I have no idea what I said there anymore. I just don't have a brain big enough to keep all that information in there. I don't know if anybody has, but I don't. So that's why I say, if you want to comment, then you put a time marker in your comment. So then I can go to the time marker in the comment, listen to what I said there, read what you wrote on that comment, and then give you an appropriate answer. If you decide to comment on any of these videos without having watched the whole video and without making the time marker in that. And you know, today is the 28th of February, so I will see to it that every comment made after the 28th of February adheres to these rules of engagement, otherwise they are just deleted. Or I will just not answer them. Or, and that is really uh, depending on the content of the uh, of the comment, I will even block you from my video channel. There's a guy, and uh, I think he's Danish, and he knows who I'm talking about when I talk about him right now. I don't mention his name. Uh, we have had our discussions and fallout uh, in the past, and um, I did not shadow ban you, or you did not have. You have not been shadow banned from my channel. I banned you. I blocked you from commenting on my channel. I did that on purpose. I was sick of your comments. I was sick to my stomach about the way that you were writing and what you were writing. So ignorantly, not once answering anything of the points that I addressed to. So I'm sick of this. And like you, there are many people. And I'm sick of that. I make these videos from my understanding, my biblical understanding and my research I do with the help of a lot of books. And I study these books, I study history and I study the Bible. And the conclusions that I come to, I see as the truth. As it is held against the Bible, it must hold. And if it holds, it's good for me. And if it doesn't hold, well, then you have to prove me wrong. And therefore, you have to take the time marker in the video and say, here you are biblically 
completely wrong. But taking your own biblical understanding in a verse where I explain to you, or where even some websites, where Kel from his website, the Trinity delusion of somebody else from his website or video explains that this is absolutely biblical truth and you deny it because you have a different understanding of that verse, well, that's okay. When you have a different understanding, you just don't want to get it, then you don't want to get it, but then you don't have to comment on it because the Bible is not, was not, and has never been written in any way, shape, or form from a Trinitarian view because the Trinity did not exist in the Old Testament, did not exist in the New Testament. The Trinity entered into the quote-unquote church in the 3rd century. Outside from the Bible. Of course, then, these people always take verses and say, but this verse can be interpreted as being Trinitarian. This verse can be interpreted as Jesus being God. But it's all not correct when you hold it against the Bible. And I don't want to make a big discussion about this in this video. I will publish this video probably an hour or two before the next one of Yea Hath God Said will be published. So everybody will have the possibility to have watched that. And I, as I said, I put the link to this video in the description box of every video so far and every video of that series ever to come so that you can have no excuse for not having known my rules of engagement of the comments. It is very, very simple. Watch the video, take notes, mark the time and quote me or when you mark the time, just say, listen to this, and then I will listen from that moment, that minute, that second, until that minute, that second, to the quote that I've said, and then I will answer that. But if you don't do that, if you just write a comment out of your flow, of your, flow out, of, out, out, out of your ideas, from your understanding, I'm, I'm not interested in that, especially if these comments have nothing to do with the subject talked about. I ask you, Politely, now, when you comment, comment on the subject talked about in the video and nothing else. If you want to talk about something else, you can always reach me on Skype. I'm out there. I don't hide. If you really need help, if you really have things that you want to talk about and they are not talked about in the video, well, you can always contact me on Skype. I'm sorry you can't contact me on Reddit again because, I don't know, twice my uh, my uh, account on uh, Reddit has been uh, deleted uh, because it was blocked on, on, on Reddit. I don't know why, from where, I never got any notification of anything. I'm not on Reddit anymore, but you can get to me on Skype. And when you contact me on Skype, then write already in the contact information where do you know me from and what your intentions are because I don't have time to discuss with 25 million people 25 million different things. Um, that is all taking from the time that I can put into research and reading, discussing and making videos, you know, and that is to me the most important thing. But I want to help everybody who really has honest and, and, and sincere questions. And if those questions have something to do that is not, nothing sp not spoken of in the video, then you can contact me via Skype. And the contact information is in the description box of this video. And you can also contact me via comments in, um, in the community section of my YouTube channel. And you can also contact me via comments in the videos. But then you are writing, okay, this has nothing to do with the video, but it's important because of this. But then don't come crying to me if I delete that comment later on, because I do not want comments in the video that have nothing to do with the subject of the video. You have to understand that these videos are made for many, many people who want to have a look at it. And I want these people to get the information from the video and then make up their own mind and not being influenced by some people who just deny everything that I said, even though I bring proof black on white that it is that so, that, that it is that way. 
then I bring proof historically proven, documented, facts. You cannot deny, but some people just don't care about historical facts. Well, if you don't care about historical facts, that's good. But then please watch cat movies or dash cam movies or music videos. or I don't care, but don't come to my channel where the truth is being told as the Bible teaches us to tell the truth. When Jesus commanded his disciples to go out in the world and uh, share the gospel everywhere, that's what I do. And I do it my way. And my way is inspired by the Holy Spirit because I don't do nothing of myself. I do as the Spirit leads me. That's why I read so many books at the same time. Because there's interesting information here, interesting information there. I don't find all that. It is the Spirit who guides me and who guides my work. And I want to please my Father in Heaven and I want to please Jesus Christ. And that's why I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. And I want to be polite to people who take the time and effort to write comments. But I also ask these people to be polite and reasonable in their comments to write a comment with the content that deals with the content and subject talked about in the video and nothing else. So, once again, watch at least the video you are commenting on completely from the first to the last second. You can skip the intro and outro for my, for heaven's sake, if you want, don't want to watch those, but watch the things where I speak. Watch the preceding videos too, because this is a study. And we are for the moment at the, I don't know, 13th, 14th, 15th video in the study. When you want to comment on a video in an ongoing study, it is important that you have watched all of the videos of that study. Otherwise, I just waste my time being even waste my time even being with, busy with you. I invest a lot of time researching, reading, making videos, putting them up on YouTube. The least thing I can expect is that you put up with the time to watch at least every video when you want to follow a study from the beginning to the end. I'm not asking more. I'm just asking that. And there are many things addressed. So when, for example, you say, okay, I'm watching this video now, but I have a I have a question on the earlier video. Well, go to that earlier video. Put your comment in there. And if comments are blocked there, then I allow you to take the link of the video, put that into your comment, put the time marker in there and state your point. So then I can, with the link, open the video, open the video at the right moment, listen to what there is being said, and then I can answer your comment. It's very easy. It just takes a little work, very, very little work, very, very little effort. But that is how Christians have to deal with each other. And I plainly tell you, if you're not dealing Christianly with me or your other brother, with your neighbor, as the Bible says, if you don't love your neighbor as yourself and treat him with the same respect that you want to be treated, and you don't treat me with the same respect that you want me to be treating you. Go to another channel. Go to other videos. I don't care. You know, the Father brings the people to the Son. And by accepting the Son, He is the mediator between us and the Father. But it is the Father who brings the people to the Son. So, when He leads you in any way, shape or form, in that way, to my video channels, and to my videos and my video studies, and you watch them and you have a comment on them, then please hold on to the rules of engagement. I just told you how to treat comments in this video series, Yea hath God said. And by the way, 
from now on. That is for every video I ever produced. When from now on, the 28th of February 2025, anybody, anywhere in my videos makes a comment to the subject talked about in the video, mention the time marker. Mention the subject, give the quote or whatever, and then I will respond. And if you are not polite, and if you show that you don't love your neighbor as yourself and deal with respectfully with the comments and everything else, then you will be blocked. You will be banned from my channel. Because to me, it is not how many people subscribe. I don't care. It is not how many people give the video a thumbs up. I don't care. I don't earn money with these videos. I've never earned one cent with any video and I don't want to earn one cent with any of those videos. Freely I've been given the knowledge and wisdom that I share and freely I give. If somebody says, oh Jörg, I want to support you, uh, aren't you in need financially of this and that? Well, you can always propose a gift to me. Some people have done already and I'm very, very thankful for that and I have to honestly tell you I couldn't do the work the way I do it without those gifts but I don't ask for them openly but if you want to support that work that's a way to do it but with the videos I never ever earned any money and by the way by the way all my videos are free to republish everywhere everywhere put them on other video platforms put them on social media i don't know what you have facebook twitter or x called now or whatever and you can do and it doesn't cost you anything right but if you are convinced that the truth is told then put the truth out at any cost and especially if it doesn't cost you anything So, yeah, more than 20 minutes ranting on about these comments, but you probably can believe this was very heavy on my heart and still is very heavy on my heart. I don't need people to uh, clap my shoulder and say, oh, Jörg, you're a wonderful guy, a wonderful teaching and this and that. I don't need flattery at all because flattery is very dangerous. I don't need flattery. The only flattery of the only reward I want is the reward my father gives me in heaven. I don't need any rewards here. If you are content with the video, then show that with a positive comment. Show that you are willing to contribute something to the subject talked about in the video. Even when your question is some that maybe you didn't understand something or you don't agree with something, that's okay. But... <laughs> Whether you agree with a historical fact or not does not change the historical fact, eh? Whether you believe the truth or you don't believe the truth doesn't change the truth, right? Always keep that in mind. So please adhere to these rules of engagement while commenting on the video channel of Joggler66 and all channels related to me. My German channel, Joggler66, where only German videos appear, my 100% uh, English channel, The Papacy is the Antichrist, and the other channel, Joggler's War and Disinfo, where there are different videos published, but most and for all English videos for the moment. All fall under the same rules of engagement for commenting. A little respect and a little cooperation that's all i ask if you just want to spew your opinion without any background just your understanding that you got in some church because you are too lazy to study the bible for yourself then i'm not interested in those comments that is not dealing respectfully with someone who takes all the effort to do that work and to try to bring the truth out to people. And, you know, 
we'll see how long it's going to take because the truth is very much censored already in this world and it's not becoming easier so if i forgot something well write it in the comment section of this video this video is the only one that is open for all kinds of comments without these rules of engagement but from after publishing this video on all videos fall under those rules of engagement thank you very much for watching listening understanding and cooperating and please read your bible god bless you shalom maranatha